Excellent, there was a lot of uh, emotion after that game, and I was just wondering, what did it mean to you guys to open up and to come here and swamp big crowd and get this kind of win? I mean, it meant a lot, you know, we uh, put the work in, so, I mean, we knew that, if, again, if we did what we needed to do, we would have no problem, you know, getting it done just because we have so much faith and so much um, trust in each other, you know, so, I mean, the hard work was done since January, you know, those last eight months were, you know, tough, you know, and at Green Tree, um, in the weight room, so, I mean, that's where all the work was done. X, the, the communication, well, when Cam would improvise, but then somehow make something happen, it seemed like you guys have been working together for years. How did you, how were you guys able to develop that sort of chemistry? For sure, I mean, you may tell, you know, practice sucks running back and forth <laughs> looking for Cam, you know, so, um, I mean, again, he's he's ridiculous. He, he He's amazing, he's a ball player, and we're super lucky to have him. X, he makes it look easy. Like, he, not with much effort. Like, he, like, even when he took off on that first run, he kind of just tiptoed out of bounds. I mean, what is, the way does he play, does that affect your guys' mentality, just how easy he makes it look? For sure. I mean, I think it all starts with the emotion he has for the game, the love he has for the game. He has the same love that we all have for the game, so it's easy, you know, to do something for someone that loves the football as much as you. Jim, the O-line, the O-line, uh, guy who you both with, uh, what did you guys just feel the end of this game, and giving him the time to find his receivers, what was that like? Yeah, I mean, we knew the defensive line that we were going to face today was going to be a tough one. They're a great team, they're a great front, they're a great defense, and we were prepared for that. So going into this game, we just had the mindset as, like, we prepared well for this team, and we just executed well. So we know we have a quarterback, you're going to be blocking. Like you just got, like you guys said, he's going to find his receivers. It might take eight to ten seconds, so we got to keep blocking. <laughs> So, um, I mean, I, I love Cam, I love receivers, I love our whole team. And for you, your two big plays, both 40 yard catch and run and splitting the two defenders from the touch. Can you walk us through both of those? Again, I just did what I was supposed to do, you know. Um, I mean, I just feel like I have God on my side. I'm a big believer in Christ, and I mean, all glory goes out to him. I feel like I was just, you know, motivated through him, and it ha whatever happened, happened, you know. What do you say to the offense after the interception? We didn't we didn't let that fade us. Okay. I mean, he didn't even mention anything yet. Yeah. I mean hey. we knew we were gonna face adversity, so we just kept going. That was a one time thing this whole game and just, you saw we didn't let it affect us. Right. Jalen, you're you're from like northeast Florida if I remember right, uh you know kind of a gator country area. So what do you think this win uh, over over Florida in the swamp like this means to means to a program? I'm just glad to say that I mean we beat Florida. I mean being where I'm from, like you just said, Jacksonville area. You got a lot of Gators. You got a lot of, you know, Seminoles fans. You got a lot of Hurricanes too, Georgia even. But I'm glad that I'm at the better Florida school. Yes. <laughs> you know, you played Florida State and now Florida. Which do you think is a tougher environment to win in? We know you have 90,000 strong here in Florida State, no picnic either. Do you have any preferences for which one's more difficult to play against? I mean, they're both great teams, both great atmospheres. I mean, um, our fans actually showed up today, you know, and and gave us so much. They helped us out so much. So uh, big shout out to the fans for sure. Um, and we need them at Hardwell. For both you guys, uh, Mark Fletcher getting two touchdowns, obviously long rehab process throughout the offseason. To see him come back, be here week one, and be able to do what he did tonight, how big is that for you guys? And how good was it to see him do that first? Personally? Yeah, so I mean, me personally, I've been through injuries too. So when he got injured, had surgery and all that, it was, we were all there. Even, you know, me and X, the whole team was there to motivate him throughout that whole process. And he had that mindset is, Every day I'm gonna get better. So when I come back, he's gonna do what he did, make, do all these rushing yards, block. I mean, he's phenomenal. So I'm glad we have him in the running back room. And he's uh, another believer in Christ, you know. And I don't think I've ever seen someone shine as bright as he did while going through his rehab process. Every day he came with a smile on his face and words of wisdom to give to us, you know. So the, when he was back, you know, like we have a lot of respect for him. Jalen, what do you, you think of, uh, of Matt McCoy and, and uh, Ryan Rodriguez playing next to them? Yeah, I mean, I knew all camp, I knew all off season that I was going to have to play either, you know, between, you know, you know, McCoy and um, Ryan. So, you know, every series you saw them rotating, and it was good to play with them. I mean, I've been preparing with them the whole time. So I knew that I was, I was going to expect those things from those guys. The, the, the physicality that you guys showed against a very experienced Florida defensive line and, and big guys just – how much did it mean to you to, to, to be able to do that? I mean, it didn't, it didn't affect us. We knew that they were the bigger or a big front, so we didn't let that affect us. We were going to prepare the same if we were going to face a little D-line, a big D-line. So 
um, I, I'm glad we came out with the win and we didn't let the big size affect us. Did that show, did that show your work in the offseason to kind of get ready? Yeah, I mean, it shows. I mean, we've been doing – I mean, we face a good defense. They're not probably as big as them, like 400 pounds, like 21. But, <laughs> I mean, they're a good team, and it goes to show that we've been putting in the work and we're going to continue putting in the work. So how we'll do a couple more. Yeah, how important was it to get that first quality win out of the way instead of a – Soccer opponent, you know, an SEC team like Florida. I mean, it didn't matter us either if we were going to face a FCS team or whatever. I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, I'm glad we beat Florida. I'm glad we got the win, and we're going to prepare the same we did for this week for FAMU next week. Coach Cristobal mentioned that before the game, before you left the hotel, can't talk to you guys and kind of message. I mean, what, what is it like for a guy that's this is his first game? He has that impact that you guys can say something. What did he say? What's the what is it about him that you guys follow him the way you do even for a guy playing his first game in the real world today? I mean, I don't think there's been a day at University of Miami he hasn't said something, you know. So I mean we kinda look to him. He's a great leader and um, his actions follow it. So I mean we have again so much respect for Cam. And, uh, and I may be wrong, but I don't think you haven't played quarterback since like Deerfield. Uh, when you missed that pass, you, you put your hands on your head and lift that coach up. Why are you being so hard on yourself, man? That's not something you do every day, right? Um, I mean, I just consider myself an athlete, so you know, when the ball's put in my hand, it makes something happen, you know. Um, I'll, it was this close, that's why I put my hands on my head, but uh, hopefully we'll get another one soon. Jaden, similar question to you know, what was asked about Mark. A lot of the world, he's had, you know, foul through some major injuries in his time in Miami. Just how great was it to see him have? You know, very good performance. To I'm just happy that it didn't affect them like we were saying, that we were always there for them throughout that whole process. So to see them back on the field and, you know, it goes to show all the hard work where they put in during the rehab process and that process getting back because that's the even harder process than the rehab one, get it back on the field. And you see, you didn't see any pain, you know, it didn't, it didn't pop up. So I'm glad to see them out there, Charlotte. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.